Good morning, handsome. Up, down. Toilet break. Put the TV on. Have some loving, some puppy cuddles. Oh, did you sleep well? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Tired. Tired. Yes, this. It's the comfiest thing. Isn't it? Sit. Leave. Leave it. Leave it. Ah ah. Leave it. Leave it. Ah ah. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Come on then. Good boy. And he's asleep. Calm. So I thought I would do a bit of a like day in the life type video routine style thing with a puppy um so barney is our little golden retriever puppy if you didn't already know or see and i have very kindly been sent some amazing bits from cherries which if you guys have never heard of cherries before i have worked with them on several other video features as well they're basically an online retailer that i like to shop via their app they sell all sorts of bargain household items from food groceries toiletries household cleaning bits toys for kids seasonal items and pet items too so now that i am a pet owner i am working with them on this part of the video to share with you some bits that they have for pets so i did get a couple of um well a couple of things <laughs> let's face it i've got a whole box of things i actually have some bits over here that i put to one side that i bought myself prior to them reaching out and wanting to film this uh video with me so these are the bits that i have already bought myself i'll just show you them now the first one is this little dog waste bag dispenser with lead clip and 40 bags which i thought was really handy and it comes in like a little bone shape so you just clip it to your jacket and it comes with some poo bags on the inside and a spare roll of them as well i also have picked up another set or well, three sets of puppy training pads these are five packs each of these i'd say like more than the majority say don't use these they were a waste of money however we do now when we first had barney for the first few days he did have accidents in the house which is totally understandable and to be honest with you he didn't reach for a puppy pad he would just as and when he needed to go um but now that we're learning more about him and his routine and um i mean this is pre-filmed by the time you're watching this we've had him a few weeks but i'm actually filming this after having him for like a week getting used to his like eight week old puppy routine during the day we're pretty fine but i actually put these in his crate at night he's got a crate big enough to have a bed at the back and one of these at the front just in case there are any nighttime accidents or if we don't hear him crying usually he cries and we let him out but on the odd occasion he has had an accident and me and tom I'm not sure if it's because we've not heard him cry maybe so anyway i changed these every night in his crate just so he's got a fresh one and yeah so we do use them even if it's not for necessarily toilet training i just wanted to have a few backups as well that was a long explanation for some puppy pads i also got this pet proud carpet freshener eliminates tough pet odors freshens carpets and rugs 
wild country flowers the scent of this one is by air pure now to be completely honest with you other than wiping down and cleaning up like pots and dishes and some washing clothes and everything i haven't really been doing that much cleaning i have been hoovering as well but i haven't been using intense cleaning products whilst he's a new puppy in fact one thing i have used a lot of is the dr bettman's carpet cleaner the pet friendly one um this i thought was quite cute it's even got a little retriever on the front it's a self-heating pet bed 64 centimeters by 49 self-heating non-slip backing machine washable a bit of a spare crate bed if you did have an accident and one needed to go in the wash and the fact that it's self-heating i thought that was quite cool i did actually get him a dog harness i do actually have another one that is smaller which i think will be good for his first sort of walks this one is in a size medium i think they had small available as well and i'm hoping that this will be um a good size for him as he grows a little bit older because i think his first walks he'll need to be in the smaller one it has got reflective um things on it as well for at night time and then this i got for in the car for attaching to his harness um and popping in your seat belt it's like a seat belt uh restraint and i read that you obviously should always use it with a harness rather than a collar because obviously if there was an accident and a jolt on the neck is not good so anyway i picked up one of them so we've got that i also think when he's teething i think he'll like ice cubes so i've got this ice cube tray to have as a like kind of a bit of a toy and you can also do things with i mean i need to look up recipes and stuff if i am going to do this but pumpkin like pureed pumpkin or chicken stock and you can freeze them as like little treats and because of the cold sensation it's good for their teething i also got some um so floras and astonish uh disinfectants in the pet friendly scent mountain air is so good i love green valley as well and then this one is in morning dew i did get a spare bowl for outside like as and when we're playing in the garden i thought it'd be quite handy just to have a bowl outside i got some treats for him these are the wag treats he's had these ones before these are the puppy and junior for dogs eight weeks of eight weeks old plus oven baked chicken and yogurt meaty bites and then these ones are the tasties chicken and liver tasty bones i got these just to throw in the car for like as and when we're out and about if we need them they're just little hand sanitizing wipes i also got with having a long-haired dog this will come in handy it's like a little lint roller and again i actually thought of putting this one in my car i got some more kitchen rolls again cleaning up any messes although we've not really had any but these are kitchen rolls and we needed some so yeah in terms of the zaflora pet friendly ones green valley is my favorite so i actually stocked up on two of these i'm yet to try the coastal breeze one so if you've tried that let me know what you think but yeah this is the green valley and it smells so good it smells like a men's aftershave it's amazing again i just got some little tasty treats as we're in this sort of or leading up to a lot more of a training stage he's got quite a few commands down already which i'm really impressed with i also got another one of these because these are his fave although he's not tried these ones yet but these ones are the training bones in chicken and cheese that sounds quite good in bags necessity and then these i am actually really looking forward to especially for the real cold winter walks i got a load of like hand warmers and heat pads that they do so affordable as well so these ones are ideal for use in cold weather or of course for helping like muscle pains injuries these are two pads that you actually stick on and they last for up to eight hours and then i've got three packs of these hand warmers which you get four in a pack stays warm again for up to eight hours and then these ones are interesting so we've got some body warmers but also some foot warmers i've never seen them before so if you get cold toes foot warmers another pet friendly cleaning products that i've never used before this is the vanish pet expert 
Oh, it's even got a little Barney on the front. Look, a little golden retriever. I find a lot of uh, packaging and advertising use golden retrievers. This is a three-in-one odor neutralizing uh, spray. These are so handy to have for out and about. Travel water bottle with belt clip and attached drinking bowl holder. So you can clip it to yourself if you want, but you essentially fill it up and you've got the bowl as well. I think they had loads of colors of these, but I went for yellow because Barney, when he was born was the yellow color. So I feel like yellow is his color. Even when we picked Barney, a couple of rosebuds came out of nowhere in our garden. I'll try and insert a picture if I've got one. And they're yellow. And I was like, it's meant to be. So because of that, I did pick up a couple of yellow toys for him to have a play with. This one is a plush toy. This is quite a fun long toy. And then we've also got this chew toy, which is super hard. Um, I think he'll actually really like that because he, you know, stopped any chewing on furniture or hard surfaces. And then this is a squeaky donut. Again, they had different colours of this, like the icing, and I went for the yellow one. We also got some footballs. We can run around with these outside. And then I've found if and when any accidents do happen, I do actually have some pet friendly wipes. But let me know otherwise, but apparently you can use baby wipes just as well because it's 99% pure water. There's no perfumed or scented products within them. So yeah, let me know if I'm wrong there. I've also picked up a couple more cleaning products just for um, maybe for when he's a bit older because this isn't necessarily pet, sorry, puppy friendly. But this is a flea and tick doggy shampoo, especially formulated to be mild and gentle whilst cleaning through the coat. It's a smart way of conditioning your pet's fur and a preventative measure against flea and tick infestations. So just to help protect against getting fleas. And then this is a dry shampoo for dogs. So this is, um, you spray a generous amount directly onto the pet's coat, working with a cloth and towel dry afterwards. And this is in the scent Raspberry Sensation. I also spotted this doggy harness, which I thought I would get. I don't know if it's gonna be too small or not. Suitable for dogs under 10 kilos. I think it's gonna be too small for him, this actually. So last but not least, in this little cherries haul, I have some anti-back hand gel. Sign of the times, but also sign if you've got a puppy that poops. <laughs> that is everything that I picked up from Cherries. I will leave a direct link in the description box below along with a discount code as well for you to use. New users of the app can get 20% off and there is also a delivery code for existing customers. So all the information will be left in the description box below. So be sure to check it out. Let me know what you end up purchasing yourself. And now I'm gonna go see if Little Munchkin is awake. Carry him down if he wants to come down. Oh, yeah. He is not back, see? There we go. Oh, Simba! Oh, I love you so much. When you wake up from nappies, that means only one thing. Bees. Huh. Uh, I feel like we like to keep the uh, TV on in the background for a bit of background noise, don't we? Oh, see, I haven't worn my hair down since we got here. <laughs> no, I haven't because you just keep biting it. You just keep biting it. Look at him. Look at him. It's going to be a day where I'm not going to be able to lift you like this anymore. And that's going to be so sad. I'm not going to be able to carry you anymore. I weighed him this morning and he's six and a half kilos. And he's 
nine weeks old nearly a day before nine weeks so yeah this is all pre-filmed this is all for us to document and look back on oh you want to stay there do you oh he's got my i've left a t-shirt in there to leave my scent in just like an old t-shirt barney boo what have you got <laughs> and then this blanket and um well i've been calling it a lamp i think it's a cow hey ah uh ah -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. good boy okay there's your chew toy you can chew that Ooh. we've been calling it a lamb i think it's a cow it's a cow right <laughs> so that um was from his litter he had that in the pen since like day one and then this too had the mother scent on it you you'll have seen if you saw when we got him in that video but we keep these two in his crate at night there's no squeakers or anything to get out of this it's a kong cozy toys these are his nighttime crate essentials this will be us for the next hour or so a little playtime in fact what time is it it is an hour or about 50 minutes until your next dinner time he's on four meals a day and he eats about 7 45 ish 11 ish about 2 30 ish 2 to 2 30 and 5 30 ish they say you should feed them um well everywhere is different but a lot of places say try and feed them oh i've got something black on me before five six ish so that they've got time to digest the food and go to the toilet before bed but we've found that isn't the case with him he still will go for a number two even like in the morning or during the night um and still go for one before bed as well so you know any recommendations on i'm so terrified of clipping his nails I have tried and they're like they're puppy claws at the minute so I've just used nail clippers and watched loads of tutorials and and I think you can get a file for them as well but I literally took the tiniest bit off because I'm terrified of like obviously going anywhere near the pink bit that I just don't get anywhere near it because I'm just too terrified but boop boop the floof boop the floof that's it I'll run through the routine of what we do i actually did a detailed what we did yesterday 4 30 a.m in the morning he needed to go out for both 6 30 he's tends to cry to wake up and then when when he does wake up we'll take him out for number one played for an hour including another number one he had a little nap between 7 30 and 8 and then when he woke up i gave him his food straight away and then we played we had zoomies and tom took you on a little walk not like a walk walk obviously he carried him just like around the house and like around the garden and outside and stuff 9 a.m he had number two then he had a little nap a wee break and then back to sleep and then he woke up at 10 45 ish woke up for a number one yet again lots of toilet breaks and then 11 a.m we fed him 10 past 11 he needed number two and then we played with him we did some training didn't we because you can sit come stay 10 past 12 for the first time i tried a bit of crate confinement whereby i put him in his crate he wasn't being naughty or anything i would never use it as a punishment but he was settled put him in there closed the door which is the first time we've done that during the day so he cried like a little bit he was like what on earth's going on and then I was gone for about 10 minutes. When I came back in the room, he was completely settled. He was lying down, he wasn't asleep. Or the door opening might have woken him up. I don't know if he was asleep or not. And then at 12.30, went for number one. At 12.40, he went for number two. 12.45 till 2.20, he had a nice long sleep. And then we, he woke up, had a number one, went for a wee wee's, and then had his food at half two. Half three, he went for a number one. And then he had a bit of a restless nap for an hour or so. And we took him out at half four for the toilet for a number one. And then at five o'clock, he went for a number two. This is a big theme here of lots of toilet breaks. And then he had a bit of a 
teeth cleaning session for the first time with these little um they're like these things that you put on your fingers and brush their teeth with i got them from amazon so we did that for like just a couple of minutes and then he got a treat of a new kong wubba which is this now i ordered an orange lion and a pink hippo cane so you look like a girl when you're playing with this you look like a girl but he seems to like it don't you and then we fed him at half five and then went straight out for a number one and number two went for a nap six till 6 45 and then i gave him some treats in a water bottle to let him like mentally stimulate try and get some um treats out of the bottle they've got to try and figure it out so it keeps him preoccupied for a bit i need to tie my hair up and then at 7 15 he went for a number one and number two we played we tried to settle him because we liked him to have a nap around that time so that between like nine and ten he's awake before bed so that he goes to bed ready for bed so 8 a.m he had a nap finally and then at 8 50 he went out for a number one and we had a bit of a play and kept him up up until 10 p.m where we let him out again for a, yet again another number one he went to bed at 10 p.m we put him in his crate not a single whimper at all so he was ready for bed by that point and then this morning so today i woke up at 4 45 with him crying he needed number one and then woke up at 6 30 again crying it's literally like his body clock is insane it's 6 28 every day that is our puppy schedule he still likes to uh, uh, no Zoomies, what's this? Is this your new toy? Is this your new toy? <laughs> this one, that's your toy as well. Woo! And he touched hip plastic off it, but I think he's a fan and he's off. Buddy, come sit. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Down. Down. Good boy. Basically, set out this kind of outdoor pen area with this green sort of fencing and this garden. Oh, he's wing. <laughs> with this garden being. Obviously you can see like holes in the fences into neighbors, gardens, until we properly landscape this and until we can take him out on walks in order for him to be able to have a bit of a run around when we just wanted to kind of have a bit of a temporary situation. This is also helping him get used to his collar because whenever I put his collar on him, it means we're going outside in the garden. Yeah, ready? Go get it. Go get it. There we go. Empty house tour. But we have, the garden goes, there's a little bit of fencing here, metal fencing. But our garden goes all the way back to the actual wooden fence. So all this shrubbery we can remove and have like a big grass area. And then this half of the garden, backing onto the house, we're thinking that shed could be uh become like an outdoor kitchen kind of party room renovate the house first and then work on the garden bunny come good boy good boy. i've not got any treats i do apologize <laughs> he's like where's the food That snow. Good boy. You'll meet some classic characters along the way. Don't 
download the Coronation Street game from your app store now and start playing today. Stay. Stay. Bonnie, come. Good boy. Down. Good boy. You're so clever. You're so clever. Bunny, come. <laughs> Sit. Down. Down. Good boy. Come. Bunny, come. Good boy. This is just his regular kibble. There's one under there. Is he going to go to eat yeah. And I just pop it um, a few pieces in that water bottle. Obviously taken off the plastic bits in the lid. And he just has to get it. Oh yeah, good job. And it'll keep him occupied for about five minutes. <laughs> then he's on. Wow, you got loads. You got loads. Good boy. Ooh. Pretty far. Why is that? Hey, it's spinning around to his. No, because he's on camera. Ooh, it's okay. You need to be up the centre. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're such a good boy. Oh. I'm <laughs> shit, I'm shit. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Reynolds. You good boy. Can we bottom this this week? Because I reckon this is just dragging on probably into its third week now. 